I would like to pass along this little uh, crafting secret to you that's uh, good for all kinds of crafts, um, repairing things, repairing ceramics, repairing glass, and I'm trying to move to this away from so many other glues because of uh, the cost, the difficulty to work with them, uh, and this is an alternative except for the shipping problem. These are available on eBay. They come in this packet here and uh, you can find them at ripoff sites on eBay for $3.99. Uh, if you look around a little bit you'll find these about a dollar and a half a piece and uh, or maybe six for ten dollars that sort of thing with free shipping on eBay and they are this unit here which holds a UV light. This is UV hardening and it has a container here and the container opens to the applicator. The applicator has a small cover on it and inside is a small uh, uh, pen like device with uh, a ball bearing in it but um, the challenge is I'll list those up front uh, this uh, these all came uh, with the glue or the um, I'm not sure what you really call it but it is it's sold as dental repair glue eyeglass repair glue five second repair glue, 10 second repair glue. Uh, it's sold under a few names and I've never seen it for sale in uh, any of the hobby stores, uh, Home Depot, Walmart, uh, Crafts, those sorts of things. And I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's the packaging so far. Um, however, this is a container of the same glue that might be for sale in uh, nail wholesale suppliers. I'll come back to that in just a minute. The challenge with this, there's not a lot of other applicators available. In fact, when you order something that it says it's a refill and it just shows this unit, it still comes with what is the bad unit here and it still comes with the light, although it may not show the light. And this unit here, just uh, it just isn't well made. It uh, leaks perpetually. You can see there's a drop coming off there, off the tip. That's a very fine drop though. And uh, just from holding it holding it uh, upright. And this just does not seal. And this is why they all come uh, leaking. Now, in the past, when I've gotten a shipment of these, I've seen all the goo inside and just figured it was going to be like a standard glue and tossed them out and got a refund. Uh, this time around, uh, I did open it and found that it washed off of all the units with a little bit of Dawn. The challenge is that this little UV unit here, which you hold on it to, to make it set, it is a UV setting glue, and you hold that for 5 to 10 seconds there. As I washed these yesterday, uh, all survive that brief washing except one and I would imagine with the battery that these have in them on the UV light that they could last uh, a really long time maybe a year or two maybe uh, dozens or hundreds of applications actually far beyond what's in this container here so we have a small amount of glue here uh, but it, ha it it's going to go really far as we hold this for five to ten seconds on the spot it's going to set up and what I like about this is that it's extremely hard um, this is going to come off this paper sheet here as you can see but it's already hardened in just that brief period of time it says five to ten seconds I, I like to give it fifteen to twenty seconds and if I'm uh, maybe healing a crack that's kind of long. I, I, I use this for a long period of time. But I have found this to be uh, much harder than anything I've ever used before. And uh, there's a lot of uh, possibilities with it. Now this, 
as a glue is this is the untreated glue here as a glue it's standing up okay it's not leveling so you want to know that about the glue so it's going to you're going to lay down a spot and it's going to be a dot it's not going to run all over however um, if you want to heal something like let's say there's a crack in here that uh, is kind of dirty on this Italian intarsia jasper here uh, I found that you can apply this as the liquid and then rub it off with your finger except for what sets in the crack there and then treat what's in the crack with the light pulling that back there you know giving for each little area you're going to give this five seconds at least if not longer you're going to hold that along there and um, it, it doesn't show like other glues uh, the super glue and so many others E6000 they're going to show up when you've got a little chip here that you want to heal back onto this little piece of glass here this glass horse it is going to show up as if there's a crack healed in this uh, uh, Fimo um, charm here it may show up as slightly shiny so you'll have to uh, adjust for that you could uh, you know really be sure that you've wiped off any of the exterior but also then afterwards you could go back with uh, a tiny piece of sandpaper and rough that up if you wanted to do that I've used it to heal um, many of these uh, little pieces on the Murano beads that tend to come off their hand inlaid there and uh, it's like what do you do with it do you want to pull out that E6000 do you want to mix up some uh, some uh, acrylic uh, uh, and lose a lot of money with either of those you know it's very difficult and this is going to heal instantly if you use it on this you can lay down the liquid and touch it to something very briefly to get a very tiny amount that it's it's a kind of counterintuitive here that you're going to be using very little of this instead of a lot now here's what's going to happen with uh, something that has a deep crack and is opaque um, either of these two items here the UV has to penetrate this glue for it to set up so uh, if you're healing a crack here that this is let's say this is the entire Murano bead that's cracked you put some inside and then you wipe off with your finger or something else uh, the extra it, and then you're going to hold the light over this crack here to get that to set up it's not a problem but what's inside will remain soluble in the future it's not going to show but it's not going to heal deep into that crack like other cements would do and I don't think that's a problem because I think this is so strong that uh, a tiny amount is actually as good as uh, the entire portion being glued and sealed and then you waiting 24 hours for that to fully cure so you can move on instantly with your project you can paint over it with uh, with anything I found so far I have two other applications that I want to share with you uh, this uh, was at eBay for 99 cents and I got this because it had the the liquid with a nice long applicator and um, it might be a possibility if I see these still leaking that I might pour the spare into this one here and use that primarily so it's still worth it for 99 cents or $1.99 to uh, to get the solvent and to work with the solvent <clears throat> and I've just found that E6000 uh, two-part acrylics and other things the, the costs are just going way up on those you know if you're a crafter you know about that this is an unusual application that I'm going to try out on something I found this under the search called UV nail polish UV nail polish that search category and of course with these you want to search for, with the the cost and shipping least to begin with this has leaked a little bit of the solvent here without the color on the lid 
And so it shows that nature of this uh, solvent when it's uh, not cured to just really penetrate and to leak out. It just tends to be the nature. And so as you're working with these, you probably want to do what it is that you're going to do with them. And I would put these in a Ziploc bag, like a snack bag. And then I'm going to see about putting the solvent into something like this, an applicator or another type of a bottle. It could be any bottle, any tiny bottle, even from the Dollar Store, Walmart, something like that. That these are going to just continue to leak out. And oh, what happens when this when this arrives and they've all leaked out? Um, I tend because I have to work with this and I have to clean it up and I have to do something with it. And I've lost at least half of them. I request for the entire shipment to be refunded, which it is, and that sort of compensates for the time that I have involved with the glue as well, too. I, I wish it would really resolve this whole thing, but um, anyway, it's available. This says that it is a pink paste, the UV, and uh, boy, that is really coming out pink there. That is a, a nice, clean, candy sort of a pink. And uh, it is a paste. I wanted to see how this would do for damaged fills in stones and jewelry and small items. So uh, let's put this paste on here. It's going to come out as a paste. I didn't mix it up fully, so this is clear on the end. I need to go back with this uh, toothpick and stir the entire amount. There's quite a bit in there, actually, I think. Uh, as far as this is concerned, there's at least uh, 50 to 100 applications like this in there. And this has come out in a string. Again, it's not, uh, um, it's not leveled out, uh, you, and you'll have to work with that. But this is made for fingernails, and so uh, it, it could be spread out no matter how you do that. I think it's, uh, I found it washable, so it's possible that you could use a sponge or a uh, uh, paintbrush for that. I, I tend to use these things in crafts quite a bit. But here, I have just spread that out with my finger, and I don't know how toxic it is. I, it doesn't smell, it doesn't have any odor to it at all. If there's a large quantity, and you're curing it, it does give off uh, a chemical odor that it is truly curing. This is the same solvent that the dentist is using. Not this hot pink though, of course. Uh, it's the same solvent that's used to repair some glasses. And it's the same UV setting solvent that's used to repair uh, spots on uh, and cracks on your, your car windshield. So in your car windshield, when they repair that, they always tell you that this that they're putting in there bonds to the glass and is actually stronger than the glass. So glass is most hardness uh, 6.5 uh, as is jasper and agate. So it's hardening a little bit harder. I'm not seeing it come out in crafts yet quite at this time, but that's a nice feature. And uh, it's, uh, it's setting up uh, true to nature there to what it looked like. Uh, it looks just a little bit more matte finish there as that's curing. And of course on the ends, this one is not finally cured. Uh, but this in the middle is set up and is rock hard. So it must be Mohs hardness about 7, 7.5, something like that. But it's really reliable. You could use this on uh, glasses, glass, uh, per, let's see, uh, stained glass windows, uh, but f for repairing something like ceramics or small crafts around the house, wood, plastic, glass, anything acrylic, this is really superior than anything else. It's going to show less glue in the end and it's going to seal harder. And as far as I know, it's more permanent than, than the others. Now I've used, uh, uh, let's see, I've used uh, hot glue, uh, E6000 and uh, super glue gel a lot and in the light in UV down the road they tend to age very very quickly. I'm amazed how um, hot glue, the plastic, uh, can age very quickly in weather and UV light outside. 
but since this is UV setting, it's going to be like your window uh, being repaired on your car, that it's going to only improve over time with the UV light that is out there naturally. You know, it's not going to degrade. So as I've used this for two years, I've not seen any degradation from it. And I like this for things that I'm repairing, but if I'm selling a piece of jewelry to someone, um, then I know it's going out the door with a permanent uh, fix on it. For instance, if you have something like this uh, uh, bolo tie here, uh, as you use different glues, you're just going to wonder what's going to happen to them. Is a the customer going to come back to you that, some, that it's broken off? You know, that's very typical that something's just broken off and that you've got to repair it or, or uh, replace it. You know, so the cost repeats back to you. Notice that on this, this has super glue gel and it's whitened. And I don't like that color, you know, that's there. And I don't have that with this particular cement here. I know that this is going to be stronger than the super glue gel and E6000. E6000 is extremely toxic to use. Super glue gel is not, but super glue gel um, tends to shear and fracture in time. So while they tell you that it's permanent and it's going to last forever, it really doesn't. The more pressure that there is to this, the more it's going to begin to just flake off. And we'll talk about that in another video about different types of glues to use. So it feels messy, feels sticky. It's going to clean up with water, oddly. Your dentist uses this in your mouth and they let it set for one minute and they don't give you a warning about uh, toxic issues with that. Uh, I don't say the car windshield repair guy using a gas mask, although he might in the shop, that's a possibility. But it does appear to be safe, it appears to be a little gooey, it has a lot of potential uh, with all objects. You know, it adheres to all objects that i found so far. So just be prepared to set this up as a, a little kit with all of your little UV lights and uh, try it on some things, you're going to like it, you know, Apply it to the crack or the chip, wipe it off with something. I just use my fingers and then it washes off a minute or two later. And then do consider, uh, as I'm going to do, maybe taking all of these and putting them into some other kind of dispenser. Now, uh, here I have something, I have my laptop that uh, has heat fractured. It's a gaming laptop and it just gets really hot. And I've uh, prepared some two-part epoxy to seal the several cracks are on it and uh, they're already from the heat getting a little bit uh, soft you can pull them off it hasn't adhered completely to the plastic and uh, the cracks are continuing you know so it's the, the cracks are going to expand the way that it is that just kind of stopped things for a little bit so I'm going to try this one and since it's very liquid and very penetrating, I'm going to have to be careful. There's, over here is a large crack, and I'm going to have to be careful that it doesn't penetrate inside. So I've got to make sure that it's very surfacey, and then I'm going to give it lots of time uh, curing. And then we'll see how that holds out if it buys me six months or a year before I need to buy uh, a, another replacement uh, bottom to the laptop. Uh, then it certainly is worth that. So I'm going to give that a try here, and I may post that in the future, how that goes. Let's see, this is the two-part epoxy that should be so permanent and so hard. It's just not, and this is a, a very costly jeweler's uh, clear epoxy as well, too. So it's nothing cheap uh, that you would find out there, and it's still coming off. So we'll give that a whirl and see what happens. I'm going to level it. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't... Uh, go in deep and then I'm going to level it off a little bit with my finger and then cure it and see that there's nothing to snag on to. Okay, so this is one of the secrets from Scooter B Rocks and I hope that helps out. hope you try this glue and uh, enjoy it and find the many uses. Um, by the way, I, I did find this on some websites uh, referring back to eBay 
but it's also advertised as an emergency overseas traveling dental repair. And it is used by your dentist to uh, seal things onto your teeth. So that makes sense that uh, this and this in two Ziploc bags so that it's not going to leak any place would be just great to take along on a trip to uh, put a chip back in your tooth, uh, uh, to put your put your crown back on your tooth, to repair your glasses, your sunglasses, uh, the many things that break or tear on your trip, including your backpack, camera parts, those sorts of things. So I think this could be like a, an essential for travel down the road as well too. But well, I'm gonna go wash my fingers off here and get started on a couple of gluing projects. Thanks for joining us at Scooter B Rocks and take a look at the link below for referrals to other resources. Thank you, this is Dr. Bunch.